Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the latest stock market news updates that you should know of as an investor. So without further ado, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. Stocks have made a huge rebound lately, particularly in the three major indexes, which have now entered positive territory. We see the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, as well as the Dow Jones all up today. But that's not all. We also see Bitcoin climbing higher and Ferrari stock absolutely surging. Ferrari stock, ticker symbol R-A-C-E, ticker name RACE, recently jumped to a new 52-week high after it topped revenue expectations. The company also announced a new driver for their F1 team in 2025, and this excited investors. You should also be aware that Ferrari uses technology from Palantir, which we will be talking about a little later in this video. But first, let's talk about Apple stock. Apple is one of the largest technology companies, and they are known for their iPhones as well as personal computers. Many people have been waiting on Apple's Vision Pro, and finally the day has come to where the Vision Pro has been released in the United States. If you didn't know, the Vision Pro is a mixed reality headset, which allows you to do a multitude of various things and learn a plethora of various skills. While early reviews of this technology has been mixed, Apple has convinced consumers to buy this device that's worth up to $3.5 thousand dollars. Clearly Apple is using their brand leadership to give consumers very high-end premium products, or at least that's what the price tag says. Now what I find interesting is that despite the best efforts of companies like Meta Platforms and Samsung in regards to their augmented virtual and mixed reality headsets, they haven't even been close to the success of Apple in this regard. In my personal opinion, I would say that Meta Platforms is actually a leader in this area, but people are loving Apple's new Vision Pro. Apple is changing the game here in regards to augmented virtual and mixed reality headsets because they are trying to infiltrate two main markets, and that would be the gaming market as well as the working market. Apple wants gamers to use their headset as well as business professionals, so they are trying to combine both of these separate spaces. And as of right now, it seems that Apple has been very successful in this regard and that's why we see AAPL stock absolutely surging right now. In other news, we have the Las Vegas Sphere, which is a $2.3 billion orb. The company that owns this sphere is traded on the general stock market under ticker symbol SPHR. The sphere is used to hold and host venues, and it also makes money from advertising, and so far, Gen Z really likes this concept. Now, for me personally, I think the share price of this company will start to trend lower, but overall, I do think this is a pretty good idea. However, considering that the company had to spend $2.3 billion to make this orb, that was a hefty price to pay, and they are still trying to make their money back as of right now. But once they do make their money back, I could see future success for this company, so feel free to look into them. In other smaller news updates, you should know that Lululemon, which is the legging legend, is launching a men's footwear line. Lululemon has a fantastic stock, and they are set to increase their revenues by launching a men's footwear line to where they can have further their success in men's apparel. This is a great way for this company to pivot and increase their overall revenue, and I'm excited for the future of this company. Next up, we have Peloton in the news, whose shares have fallen by around 25%. The reason why Peloton shares are trending lower is because the business said that it expected a decrease and a decline in their general sales this quarter, and investors did not like that news. Peloton sells exercising equipment, and they also offer a wide variety of virtual classes, which you can take on their exercise equipment, but it seems that investors have lost interest in this company. We also have Merck in the news, which saw a 21% sales growth for their cancer drug. This company is a biopharma titan, and they also recently beat quarterly estimates, which helped push their share price up. I personally own this company in my portfolio because they compete with companies like Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer. However, between the companies of Merck, Johnson & Johnson, and Pfizer, I would gravitate more toward Merck and Johnson & Johnson, and I personally would stay away from Pfizer. But the general stock market is very volatile, and we'll see what the future holds for all of these companies. We also have a Palantir Technologies in the news today because they are about to release their quarter four earnings results, and I think that you need to be aware of this. Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics company which specializes in 
artificial intelligence. They have two main business segments, where the first one is they give their platforms to the government to use, and they also try to sell their platforms to commercial enterprises. Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR, is currently scheduled to report their fourth quarter earnings on Monday, February 5th, after the market closes. As of right now, their share price trades for $17.02, and they're up almost 5% today. Analysts also have projections for this company, because they anticipate that the company will experience a year-over-year -year increase in both their top and bottom lines. That would mean that they anticipate an increase in their revenue as well as their earnings. In regards to the company's earnings, professionals believe this company will bring in $0.08 cents per share, which is pretty positive, and for their revenues, many analysts project that this company will bring in $602.8 million for the quarter. Basically, investors are very excited about how Palantir could bring in a very impressive earnings results and revenue numbers. I personally believe a lot of this growth is going to be stemming from their commercial division, because I've said for a while now that eventually their commercial segment will outpace their government segment in regards to revenue and earnings, and once that happens, then the sky is the limit for this company. However, we do have some negative news pertaining to Palantir's growth rate, considering that Palantir's overall growth is expected to lag behind rivals such as Snowflake, which we will talk about a little later. Generally, I think Palantir will have a pretty good earnings report, and this should reflect positively in their share price, but it seems that the market has been quite irrational with a multiplicity of stocks lately, so we're just going to have to see how this turns out. The most positive thing about this company is that their earnings per share estimates have been revised in the positive direction around nine times, while their revenue estimates have seen nine upward revisions versus only two downward moves. So this indicates a very bullish positive stance when it comes to Palantir Technologies and their upcoming earnings and revenue results. We also have Snowflake in the news, which is a data warehouse company, ticker name SNOW, ticker name Snow, which has made very big gains recently. Snowflake has almost surged by 10% in their overall share price, and not many people really understand why. There wasn't any company-specific news that was released that would cause such a tremendous catalyst for this company. However, the author of this article, as well as myself, believe that Snowflake is benefiting from the stronger earnings results that have been published by leading cloud services providers such as Amazon, Microsoft, as well as Alphabet, which we will talk about later in this video. So what should investors think of this increase in Snowflake's overall share price, and can we buy Snowflake right now at a good price point? Well, let's talk about it. According to the article, Snowflake stock has seen tremendous momentum in conjunction with the excitement surrounding artificial intelligence, which is AI. Investors are also very excited about Snowflake's improving demand outlooks, which is going to be key for their future business. Currently, Snowflake is valued at 20 times this year's expected sales, and that means that Snowflake has a high growth dependency on their valuation and their overall revenue growth rate, to where if their revenue growth rate fluctuates in the negative direction, it could be catastrophic for their share price. Now, I personally believe that Snowflake will end up growing into their valuation because that's how quickly they are scaling their revenues. So it seems that if you are a long-term investor, holding this company for the next five years could be extremely beneficial for you. The author of this article even says that Snowflake is growing rapidly and is positioned to continue playing an important role in the evolution of analytics and artificial intelligence services. However, I really like his disclaimer at the end, which says that you should weigh your personal tolerance for volatility before going in heavily on the stock. Because again, this is a very volatile stock and you need to have the stomach to digest the volatility in regards to their share price. In essence, Snowflake is a great stock along with Palantir Technologies and I can't wait to see what the market makes of these companies in the future. Speaking about fantastic future companies, let's talk more about the Reddit IPO which is coming up, which I think will be one of the best IPOs, because listen here, once Reddit has their IPO and it's officially traded on the public stock market, their share price will explode. Their share price is going to skyrocket in price upwards, and if you are a stock trader, I highly recommend you invest into this company and then sell at the top and then watch it crash back down, similarly to what happened with Robinhood when they became a publicly traded company. The momentum behind Reddit's IPO will be immense, and I really want you to be able to take advantage of this, but please play it smart. Reddit is a social media company, and they recently picked the New York Stock Exchange to have an initial public offering on, which is fantastic news. This means this private company will be traded on the public stock market, thus making it a publicly traded company, and I anticipate that you should take advantage of this, because if you don't, you're going to be left behind. If you remember the share price surges of AMC and GameStop, 
desktop, this is going to be very similar. Reddit initially filed their public offering paperwork back in 2021, and they are anticipated to unveil their filing later this month. Reddit is already considering feedback from some of their early investors, and they plan to have an initial public offering with a valuation of at least $5 billion. So remember to do your own research, look into what happened at AMC, GameStop, and Robinhood, because I think this is going to be a very spicy IPO from Reddit. Another company which has recently surged in their share price is none other than the e-commerce company, which is Shopify, ticker symbol SHOP, ticker name SHOP, which recently jumped by 8% in their share price. The reason why this company is surging in their share price is because a Wells Fargo analyst reaffirmed their overweight rating on the e-commerce services stock while lifting their price target from $80 up to $90 per share. The analyst also believes that this company could go even higher as long as they consistently improve on their margins. So if you are a long-term investor, then feel free to look further into this company. It seems that this analyst has created some momentum that investors are hopping on because it seems that in general, many are optimistic about this company. Now, don't be led astray here because the recommendations for this company are extremely divided. We have price targets which range from $30 on the low end up to $100 on the high end. But overall, the future of Shopify does look very bright in my personal opinion. Shopify stock has also been doing extremely well recently by gaining 67% just in the last three months, thanks to signs of a healthy shopping season. Now, if you are a prospective investor who has not already invested into Shopify, you may want to wait until they release their quarterly earnings report. But in the meantime, keep a close eye on this company because they most definitely could be a long-term winner. Speaking about potential long-term winners, let's talk about Intel, because the CEO of this company just bought more shares, which is always a great sign. Intel's share price doubled throughout the year of 2023, but so far in 2024, they have been on a huge downward trend. However, the CEO of this company recently bought shares, and he says that the shares are at a discount right now, and that's why he bought into this company. It's amazing when you see the CEO of a company really doubling down on the company which they are the CEO of. Insiders generally have information that outsiders don't, so when we see the CEO buy the company's stock, we should pay attention as retail investors. Intel stock already has surged 91% before their recent downtrend, and this is because of hype around artificial intelligence. But you should be aware that this United States chip maker has dropped by 12% in their share price just in a single day. This was mainly due to disappointing guidance that overshadowed any strong fourth quarter results in their recent report. But like a very savvy investor, the CEO of this company is doubling down. He paid around $130,100 on January 29th to buy 3,000 shares of this company at an average price of $43.36. The CEO himself holds 457,000 shares of Intel in his trusts, and he personally has 62,023 Intel shares in his personal account. The CEO is very excited about what artificial intelligence is going to mean for the future of of this company as they catch up to their rivals. The CEO believes that there are going to be big changes made in business and the entire world because of artificial intelligence, and Intel intends to take advantage of this very prosperous time. For me personally, Intel is not in my top three picks for artificial intelligence or chip maker stocks. However, it could be a good general investment overall. But later in the video, we're going to be talking about the top three artificial intelligence stocks to buy right now that you need to be aware of. But before we do that, you need to be aware of Charter Communications which recently crashed in their share price by around 15%, so this is really catastrophic for this company. Charter Communications, ticker symbol CHTR, is a cable and internet company, which is the company behind Spectrum Internet, and they recently dropped by 15.7% in their share price. Before Charter Communications released their overall quarterly results, it was anticipated that the company would bring in $8.68 per share for their earnings and revenue of $13.7 billion. The interesting thing about this is that Charter met expectations in regards to their revenue, but they sorely missed on their expectations regarding their earnings per share because they only brought in $7.07. .07. This is a far cry from their original projection of $8.68, so this really upset investors. But the news gets worse for this company considering that they have lost 61,000 customers, and this is strictly in regards to residential, small, and medium-sized businesses. But this loss of customers was offset by the company adding around 546,000 mobile phone customers. Therefore, this company is just spinning their wheels as of right now, but overall, this company is really in the doghouse. This news was so bad that the management of this company declined to give projections for 2024. Now, while some investors believe that this company could make a huge comeback in 2024, 
before, I personally just don't think so, and here's why. Charter is currently carrying around $97 billion worth of debt, and this is debt net of their cash, so I'm taking into consideration the cash or short-term cash equivalents on their balance sheet when I state that debt number, and for me, it's way too high. I personally would rather invest and gravitate towards companies like Verizon, AT&T, and of course one of my favorite companies, which is T-Mobile. So feel free to look into any of these four companies, but I personally would gravitate toward Verizon, AT&T, as well as T-Mobile, and I would leave Charter Communications alone. Now let's talk about the top three artificial intelligence stocks to buy right now. And you're really not going to be surprised about this list, considering that I've talked about all of these companies multiple times, and I am investing heavily into each one of them. Starting off, let's talk about NVIDIA, which is the market leader and the most dominant force in regards to artificial intelligence chips. NVIDIA has been one of the best stocks to buy over the last 12 months, and I anticipate that this momentum will increase or at least be sustainable throughout the year of 2024. The company's artificial intelligence chips have made them an industry leader as they dominate the overall market because they literally have 90% market share, making them have a monopoly over this segment. Even if their competitors, such as advanced micro devices, also known as AMD, start to give NVIDIA competition, it seems that NVIDIA has already ran too far because they will remain a market leader at least for the next year or two. Now, for me personally, I also am invested into AMD, and I would highly encourage you to look into both of these companies. Next up, let's talk about Alphabet. Alphabet focuses on data, which AI models use to train on, and this would be very beneficial for Alphabet to sell this data to artificial intelligence companies or even train their own AI models. Essentially, there's no better company to do this than Alphabet because they own and operate the world's two most visited websites, which is Google Search and YouTube. Alphabet is the parent company of Google, which owns Google and YouTube. YouTube, and that's why Alphabet literally captures loads of data which artificial intelligence models can train off of. Think of everything you've searched, every website you've clicked on, every article that's been written, and every video that has been posted. Alphabet can use this data to train artificial intelligence. On top of that, Alphabet also exceeds in advertising, which is where they make the majority of their revenue and profit, and I think the sky is the limit for this company, so feel free to look further into Alphabet because it's one of my all-time favorite companies. Last but not least, let's talk about an under-the-radar company, which which is Super Microcomputer, which I've been hitting the table on for quite a while now, considering that it has surged dramatically over the last 12 months in their share price. Artificial intelligence has created a boom for this company and their technology products, and I anticipate that this company will continue to grow even higher to new heights. The company is clearly benefiting from artificial intelligence momentum, and after their Q2 earnings, the company absolutely exploded in their share price. But the best part is that this company still has a very long growth runway ahead of them, and that's why I would highly recommend you look and do your own research into this company. Super Microcomputer's reputation is winning them big AI-related business, which bodes very well according to this article for the future of this company. That means investors such as you and I could make loads of money from this investment, and that's why I would want you to research this company on your own to determine whether or not it's good for your personal portfolio. With that being said, that concludes today's stock market news updates and the best AI stocks to buy right now. With that being said, don't forget to go and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.